the city of Venice is located northeast. It is the capital of the Veneto region. It is built on a group of 118 small islands separated by canals and linked by more than 400 bridges. How to get around Venice To get from the Marco Polo Airport, abbreviated VCE, to central Venice, you should take an ATVO bus, the Venice Airport Bus Express, or Ali Laguna Water Bus. The Ali Laguna Vaporetto is the most common way to reach Venice city center from the airport. It takes longer than a water taxi but also costs away much less. While a taxi will charge over 100 euro, the Ali Laguna ticket costs only 15 euro. On arrival, you follow the signs for Trasporti via Dacqua slash water transport, white writing on blue background, and follow the moving walkway, the pedestrian path to the docking area. You'll pay an extra euro if you buy your ticket on board, and you can save a euro or two by booking online. The fare includes transportation of one suitcase and one piece of hand luggage. Extra bags cost 3 euros each. If you, like many other tourists, choose to take the train from other Italian or European cities, you'll be dropped off at the Venezia Santa Lucia train station. The station was built in the 1940s and 1950s. There is daily service to cities throughout Italy, as well as major cities elsewhere in Europe. The main floor of the Santa Lucia station is where the train platforms are located. The ticket windows are also on this level, along with the restrooms, tourist information, and some shops and restaurants. The left luggage facility is on the main level, near Platform 1. Here are Mio Travel's top 10 tourist attractions that you must visit while in beautiful Venice. Number 10. Murano and Burano Islands The island of Murano is renowned for its long tradition of glassmaking. Visitors come to explore the Maceo del Vetro, which tells the story of glass through the centuries, and to shop for locally crafted souvenirs. Make sure to also visit the 7th century Basilica of Santa Maria and San Donato. Murano is best known worldwide for its exquisite, blown glass. If you're not in the market for glass and just want to look at it, it's still fun to visit a shop. Just about every Murano glass factory has a showroom where they display their best products. Part of the Venetian Lagoon and just a few miles from the city of Venice, Burano is perfect for exploring on a boutique Venice cruise. Its colorful buildings attract visitors to stroll its photogenic streets and snap photos of its unique beauty. Once you arrive on the picturesque island, you can explore its lace-making traditions, visit Burano's Leaning Tower and see if you can spot the most colorful house of them all. Number 9. Bridge of Sighs The Bridge of Sighs is one of the most popular attractions in Venice. The only way to actually cross the Bridge of Sighs and see the inside is to book a tour of the Doge's Palace. The easiest way to see the Bridge of Sighs from the outside is to step on one of the neighboring bridges. The easiest one to reach is the Bridge of Paglia right next to St. Mark's Square and just behind the Doge's Palace. It's one of the most traversed bridges in Venice, so it's usually packed, 
but the light enters in from behind you and perfectly illuminates the bridge of size for your photo. The most luxurious way to get a view of the bridge is to book a gondola ride. According to legend, the name of the bridge comes from the size of prisoners who cross the bridge on the way to their prison cells or the execution chamber, catching their last glimpses of Venice through the tiny windows. Number 8. Scuola Grande di San Rocco The Scuola di San Rocco is located in the San Polo district, just behind the large Basilica Santa Maria Gloriosa di Frari. The original construction that now houses the Scuola Grande di San Rocco was built in the 15th century. The Italian painter Tintoretto was asked on behalf of the Brotherhood to create decorative paintings. In this place you will not only find beautifully preserved paintings, but also the building itself is almost entirely in its original state. Number 7 Basilica di Santa Maria della Salute Commonly known simply as the Saluti is a Roman Catholic church and minor basilica located at Punta della Dogana in the Dorso di Rosestiere of the city of Venice. The church was designed in the then fashionable Baroque style by Baldassare Longhina, who studied under the architect Vincenzo Scamazzi. Construction began in 1631. The Dome of the Salute was an important addition to the Venice skyline and soon became emblematic of the city. Entry to the church is free, but there is a charge to visit the Artslong Sacristy, closed on Sunday mornings. Number 6 Galleria dell'Accademia the Galleria dell'Accademia has the largest Venetian art collection in Venice and is one of the most important art galleries in the world. Its collection includes works of art by renowned Italian artists like Veronese Canaletto, Tintoretto, Titian and Bellini. We recommend the visitors that want to visit the Galleria dell'Accademia during a bank holiday for example, during the 10 days of Venice February Carnival or on the 15th of August, to book the entrance tickets online to avoid the long queues. The service costs an extra 1 euro and 50 cents, 1 US dollar and 60 cents, and you can get them on the gallery official website. Number 5. Piazza San Marco. Piazza San Marco is Venice's main public square and contains its most famous buildings such as St. Mark's Basilica and the Doge's Palace. It is 590 feet, 180 meters, long and 230 feet, 70 meters, wide. The Piazza San Marco is one of the most beautiful in the world. Napoleon called it the world's most beautiful drawing room. The most famous buildings in the piazza are St. Mark's Basilica, the Doge's Palace, the Museo Carrere and the Campanile, the Basilica's Bell Tower, and the Torre del Orologio. It is also worth highlighting the columns of St. Mark and St. Theodore. The square comes to life at dusk when the weather is warm enough. If you are in Venice during spring or summer, it is worth walking through the piazza among the renowned cafes, listening to the various bands playing live music. If you are not on a tight budget, you can also have something in the Café Florian, one of the oldest bars in Italy. It dates back to 1720 and for the past 100 years, the bar offers live music to its customers. The only negative aspect is that the cheapest drink is approximately 10 euros, 10 US dollars and 70 cents. Number 4. The Rialto Bridge.
The Rialto Bridge is a stone arch bridge over a Grand Canal in Venice. It is also the most famous in Venice thanks to its history and design. For many years, the overpass was the most important financial center in Venice. The Rialto Bridge has three ways to get from one side to the other, a broad middle walkway that is lined by stores on each side and two stairways on the back side of the stores that is visible from the Grand Canal. The stores were created on the bridge to help pay for the upkeep. They also go well in the area that has always been a market. The best time to visit Rialto Bridge is in the spring season, half of May to July. Or you can visit during the Easter holidays. Walking at night at Rialto Bridge is something you shouldn't miss. Nothing could be more intriguing than a stroll along with looking at the reflections of marble on the canal. Number 3. Gran Canal The Grand Canal is the largest and most famous canal in Venice. It is nearly 4 kilometers long and separates one half of Venice from the other. Visitors and locals can cross the Grand Canal in a number of different ways, including a water bus or a traghetto. The water buses cruises down the Grand Canal stopping in both sides of the canal. It is a great and inexpensive way of observing the beautiful buildings and palazzos located on either side of the city's main artery. The best vaporetto to explore the Grand Canal is Line 1. The journey includes the C.A. Doro Palazzo, Gallery dell'Accademia, the Palazzo Sierra Zanico, Santa Maria della Salute and the well-known Rialto Bridge. Number 2. Doja's Palace The Doge's Palace, also called Palazzo de Cali, was home to the Doge, the leader of the republic that Venice used to be. This palace in Gothic style used to house political institutions. The Doge's Palace is now a museum, where you can visit the rooms of the Doge. From the Doge's Palace a bridge crosses the canal, the Ponte dei Sospiri, Bridge of Sighs. This bridge was used by convicts who had heard their sentences to enter the prison on the other side of the canal. Visitors will be welcomed by an impressive golden staircase that leads to the second floor called Scala d'Oro. In the palazzo, you will visit the doge's apartments, the courtyard, the institutional chambers, the armory, and the prisons. To avoid unnecessary waiting at the entrance, it is possible to book the ticket in advance by buying the Venice Museum Pass that allows entry to 11 Venetian museums, in alternative, the entrance to the St. Mark's Square Museums which also allows entry to the Correr Museum, to the Marciano Library and to the Archaeological Museum. It is also possible to participate in guided group tours that provide for entry to the palace or a walking tour of the city center. The latter is often also offered privately with a dedicated guide. Number 1. St. Mark's Basilica St. Mark's Basilica is the leading tourist attraction in Venice after the Piazza San Marco, and for good reason, it's a riot of Byzantine architecture, with spectacular gold mosaics and enough plundered sculptures and other relics to thrill the most jaded aficionado of the Christian Crusades. As a bonus, admission is free. The basilica was constructed as a home for the bones of St. Mark the Evangelist, whose remains were stolen from Alexandria, Egypt by two Venetian merchants who smuggled the saint's bones past Muslim customs officials by stuffing them into a barrel of pork in 828 AD. After 200 years or so in temporary quarters, the evangelists' bones were moved to the new Basilica di San Marco, the third church on the site, in the 11th century. Interestingly enough, the Basilica di San Marco didn't become Venice's cathedral until 1807, 
after many hundreds of years as a chapel and state church under the authority of the Doges of the Venetian Republic. Here are also some bonus tips for Mio travels to maximize your Venice trip. Take a famous gondola ride. Enjoy street shopping. Visit the surrounding islands. See the Carlos Goldini statue. Enjoy the Venice Carnival if in Venice in February. I hope you have enjoyed Mio Travel's exclusive coverage of Venice's top 10 attractions, transport, and bonus tips. Please subscribe to the channel. See you soon with another virtual tour of a major city. Arrivederci.